In keeping with my low impact, environmentally friendly, healthy lifestyle, this is Miss Pom Pam. She's wearing. What do you got? What do you got? What do you? Come here. What do you? She's got those little praying hands that the ties do when, as a sign of respect. In keeping with my low impact lifestyle, uh, let me give you a give you a tour of the yard, and you can see all the wild free edible foods that we have to uh, choose from. We'll be joined by Miss Mu, who will uh, explain a few things and pronounce those few things in Thai for us. Let's go see what we got. Okay. What do you call that, Mu? They call Kaling Ping. Sour. Too sour. 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 You just eat it by itself or you put anything with it? Eat it with something else? Uh, they, they make with a uh, uh, yellow curry, like a uh, Kang Som. Kang Som? Mm. Okay. Piao. Mak Mak. And you find this in the jungle in Thailand? Yeah, I'm in jungle. What do you call that again, Mo? Lakam. Lakam. Same sala? Same, same family sala. Same family sala, not called sala though, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little bit sour. <laughs> sour, huh? Too sour. This has got a lot of vitamin C in it. It's quite sour, so in a survival situation, it would help uh, salivate your mouth and stuff. So it kind of make you feel like you're not quite as thirsty as you might be. It is tasty, though. There's another nice plant in my yard called. Pak Tam Lung. Quite tasty. You usually boil it. Uh, very mild taste. Sure it's good for you. And it's actually a vine that's growing on a pepperacea, a wild pepper plant. This right here will get the, oh, red ant. This right here will get the uh, little peppercorns on them. Standard pepper, native to this part of the world. Another tree in my yard. I uh, have not a clue what the English name for it or the Latin name is for it. In Thai, it's called Bai Nyang. Bai is leaf. Uh, I'm not sure what Nyang means. Uh, it's quite tasty. Nothing special. Uh, probably has a bit of value to it food wise. I've got some fig or ficus family trees in my yard as well. Uh, we've got over a hundred species of ficus in Thailand, only a few are really edible. They're not all that tasty, they're certainly not like the big figs you get at the grocery store elsewhere. Very important food source for a lot of animals here. What I get in my yard is squirrels and birds, so I love having this tree in my yard. What do you call that one, Mo? It's called Pak Nam. It uh, can make uh, with the uh, powder to flour. cook uh, flour. Put in powder to cooking for fry with oil and eat with the curry. Okay, so you just batter fry and eat it with curry. Yeah. Is it good? This good one. This is a rose apple, champu in Thai. It's actually in the myrtle family. It's quite succulent. It's originally from Southeast Asia. Very nice fruit. You get quite a bit of moisture out of this. It's extremely watery. Fruit. Doesn't have a whole lot of taste. Oh, that's fine. They can vary in color from the pale green to nice rosy red, thus rose apple in that name. Got a jackfruit tree in my yard. Jackfruit in Thai is called Kanun. You open these guys up, they get really, really big. You open up, it's got a fairly smelly fruit uh, parts inside of it. Uh, tasty, not too bad. You got to kind of get used to it. This is another Peperacea family, pepper family. This is called Bai Shapu. Uh, what the Thais do with this is they'll make a little bowl, fill it up with all kinds of goodies. Uh, it's called Miankam. They'll fill it up with uh, dry roasted coconut, a sweet sauce, ginger, of course chilies some 
uh, what else did I put in there? A few other things. Uh, oh, little little purple onions. And then you put it all in your mouth, chew it, and every every chomp uh, delivers a different taste combination. It's considered a snack. It's quite nice. What do you call that one? This is called Gachin. Can eat with the uh, Kadom Chin. And I can eat with the uh, Shrimp Pet Curry. Mm. Good. good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Kadom Chin is a little Thai spaghetti noodle dish yeah. with curry. Yeah, it's yeah, quite it's nice. Gachin. So you just eat that raw. You don't cook that, right? You just eat it like that? Yeah. It grows in the jungle everywhere, right? The jungle everywhere, I have to. Good thing. A, couple, a few banana trees in my yard, actually. In the jungle, uh, this is a very useful plant for many reasons. Obviously, you can eat the fruit. You can also eat the flower. If you're hurting for water, really need some water, you can destroy the tree unfortunately you can cut it down near the base scoop it out into like a bowl shape and the the hollow or the bowl that you've just made will fill up with liquid that is quite drinkable and the water in that will have some natural electrolytes as well so it's a very useful survival plant and common there are probably 20 species of banana tree grow in the jungles here okay what do you call that move this they call pak miang Cook with the uh, soy sauce and and a chili sauce too. Soy sauce and what? Soy sauce and chili sauce. You cook it with soy sauce or oyster sauce, huh? Uh, just... And then and then eat with the uh, shrimp paste, curry. You get with shrimp paste too. Uh. Get, okay, good. Yeah, all right. What do you call that one, though? Mayom. My yum. Yeah, they have food yellow, some more food yellow in here. Okay, that's a, that's a gooseberry tree. In English they call it gooseberry. The little yellow fruit grows a lot and of the sour. and very sour. Yeah. But these leaves, you cannot eat like this. You can only eat them when they're very young, the leaves. Yeah, yeah. A little bit young. A very young leaf. Yeah, yeah, this young leaf cannot eat. Okay. Got a few other fruit trees in my yard, like long gun, not the season for them, unfortunately, quite tasty. And lamut, which is uh, jujube quite tasty very nice fruit as well wrong season unfortunately and what Thai yard would be complete without some coconut trees